Hello and welcome to Putin Football First. I'm devastated. This is even more devastated over here. Looks like we're drowning our sorrows already. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Thanks, Murray's Brewery. I knew it would come in handy. It's going to come in handy. Welcome to Putin Football First. I'm Tony Vidre. I'm Jonathan Moyder. Mm. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> sure it is. Oh. Doesn't taste stale, do you? Oh, not at all. Oh. Not at all. Unlike the Socceroos last night. <clears throat> We come we to start? you. Where do we start? Where do we start? Uh, look, Tony's upset, <laughs> and, and I can relate. He's uh, Tony's upset and angry. I'm going to give Gabe a lot of work today because I'll be <laughs> dropping the f bomb on more than one occasion here. So Gabe, just well, kiddies, just... the club, Gabe. That's uh, that's what we wanted to know. Look, what can we say? Look, there's there's a little bit of vision that I'd like to start today's program with. Can we, Gabe? Can we just go to the vision on the screen here? I think this sums up last night altogether. Here it is. That's the one I That's wanted. It. A kangaroo yep. punching, punching itself, itself in the, in the face. face. <laughs> Cheers, everyone, and welcome to Putting Football First. How symbolic. That was the night that wasn't. And uh, here we are, almost lost for words. Um, Tony, oh, I have words. Tony, you've had plenty of words. I, I don't think words. many of them are fit for the screen. but um, A lot of them not fit for purpose. Yeah, look at that. I, feel, I just feel ripped off. I really do. I just feel conned. I feel... We've gone on this, you know, dragged along on this this journey. We didn't do well in the qualifiers. We relied on Tim Cahill too much to get goals in the qualifiers. It was supposed to get better. You look back, we scored two goals, both of them from Yadnak, both of them from the penalty spot. Um, at the end of the first half, one of the stats was that um, we had taken six shots on goal, one of them on target. Peru had taken one shot on goal, one that was on target, one nil. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Won't even drink. No, well, look, no, no. If I can use a, a Tonyism. Um, I'd like to. I'll give you an alternate on that on that an particular take. I am a glasses half, half full <laughs> kind of guy. I'll get permission to take that. Rehearsed. <laughs> um, uh, look, we just couldn't strike. We couldn't hit water if we fell out of a boat last night. It's been the story of the tournament. It doesn't mean we're as as bad as we appear. There were lots of good signs. We've got good players across the park, just no one up front. Look, there's a reason why we're 36th in the world. And what we came up against <laughs> a team that was shoot. 11th and 12th in the world. And that is that oh, in those nice. crucial moments in the game, we make the wrong decision. We make poor decisions. We'll either, you know, Robbie Cruz to me, and we've discussed this, passes the <laughs> ball to Leckie when he... Leckie had a player in front of him. He was never going to find Leckie, and yet there was an unmarked Australian... On the penalty box, if you cut it back, you look at yeah, every no, other. No, Lucky crossed that right. You and no, I are going to argue no, about this for a didn't. long you time. Cut it back. You, know, you look at every other footage. Um, this no, morning, they cut it, it back. Striker should have no, got to it. Any, in front of any international striker, he had two he defenders on him. him. You get a foot out, you get that he was into never the get onion bag. The, right? the, and he didn't. The do defender it. was about a meter in front of him. He was never going to get it. Every other uh, look, team. If I can, every other team. Every other team. No, let me finish. Every other team manages to cross the ball into the box first time. They manage to, to take a shot on goal first time. We know. We keep ta- cutting back, taking the, the early route. We keep hitting the defender who's t- two metres away instead of the ball reaching yeah. the box. Yep. We're in the box. We're about, you know, we've got a chance. What do we do? We have to take three or four touches. Rogic dragged three defenders away um, with him in the first half, and he still wants to shoot when clearly he yep. had Leckie on his, on his left two metres away. Um. For no, like, unfortunately, get it right. Tony, it's done. For f- sake. I've like, got something even, to cheer you up. No, no, one last thing. Cheer me up in a minute. <laughs> one part in the second half that, that, that did my head in was there was a passage of play for about 20 or 30 mm-hmm. seconds where it was real. There, was, there were a lot of players now ping ponging around, and okay. we got the ball, we lost yeah. the ball, we got the ball, we lost the ball. In the end, we ended up winning the ball and we played it out. And I can't remember who it was, it wasn't Moy. And what do we do? The play, their first touch, they put it back into the area where there's 17 players where you can throw a blanket over them. And I'm sitting there watching TV going, for f- sake, play yeah, it out it wide, is, get it out to the spaces. And it's lack of top flight experience, oh that's all it is. Oh, God. Now, are you done? Yes. All right, I've got no. a present for you. Okay. Right, this will cheer you up for the rest of the show. Will it? Right, I okay. Do. What is now, it? Our friends at uh, Everything Football have asked me to pass this to you to cheer you up. Oh, look at this. It will okay. Actually, it will cheer me up. There we go. Talking, talking okay. about another team that can't shoot and can't defend. <laughs> oh, that's it. And we'll be right back after this break. Quick, before Tony takes his clothes off. All right, and we're back, and Tony is a little less blue. 
more blue Little than more he blue. was a minute ago. Um, it's time to talk about the other games. We can come back to Australia there in a other second. Games? There were other games. I know I you and I didn't see much of them. No, but I saw a few. I, I, I want to start with France, Denmark. I have one word, for, two words for France. Um, let me get this right. Flake. Kakaboudin. Right? <laughs> If we had won 10 nil last night, we still wouldn't have got... It means shit sausage, by the way. Oh, right. Um, if we had won by 10 goals last night, uh, we still Zero. wouldn't have gone through because France kind of wandered through the game. The Danes did their very best. The French didn't care. Uh, we ended up with a draw over there. So, look, they rested, I could, they rested players. All I could find, uh, there is a Paris Saint-Germain, a PSG stand in everything football. <laughs> Um, but all I could find that was really appropriate... What the <laughs> was, hell was it? To you, the French, it's a PSG ball pump, and all I can say is, you blow. Big time. Big time. Big time. <laughs> you noticed the I pumped up our ball The dark arts. I thought it was some sort of anal, anal <laughs> probe. <laughs> Cars. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Let's move on. Um, uh, Argentina. This was an entertaining actually, game. This was entertaining. I thought yes. it was a bit easier to watch. That's it. Argentina, of course, beating Nigeria 2-1. Nigeria came out fighting, but mm. Argentina, having um, smacked their coach into the dugout, I don't know who was in control of this game, but Argentina had their Maradona major had a few bit to say. No, I don't think Maradona was in control of anything, <laughs> including that, his own limbs. Think, um, we do have a little highlights that. package. We'll show you that later, Maradona, yeah. last night. But um, Messi finally scoring. Wasn't he a happy chappy? And by That's the end of the answer. game, you saw the Argentina of old. Mm. I don't know whether it will be enough to win the World Cup, but they went through, and unfortunately, Nigeria, we love your shirts. We love you at the World Cup, but uh, we'll see you next time. No more green. Um, good to see that Argentina employed the English football tactic of playing it long from the back. <laughs> I love it over the top. <laughs> and he controlled it beautifully and, um, and, and scored. Oh, did you which, see it? One touch with your hip, yeah, moving it forward. Another one with a foot. Robbie Cruz, yeah. are you watching? And one touch forward with his foot and a strike. Yeah, first time strike. <laughs> So Nigeria a little bit fortunate to get back into it with a um, with a with a penalty. Um, it wasn't a penalty. But it, the it, VAR I, once again. I don't think you it know, was what do they do? Flip a coin up there? I don't know. I just I think they look around and go, "What do we do?" Yeah, yeah. Just, they call someone at the pub and go, "Did you see that?" What do you reckon, mate? Um, anyway. but the look the, the goal to win it, you know, under the under the enormous pressure that they were under, had they drawn they were out and um, 87th minute. 87th minute yeah. and first time cross. Robbie Cruz, are you watching? First time shot. Rogic, are you watching? You know, just beautiful um, the way that... And the, the, the uh, what do you call it? The, the post-goal celebrations were, uh, were just epic. Can we just have a look at uh, Maradona's reaction um, when he leads the celebrations? Let's take a look. Do we have any Argentinian people that we know that might be able to lip read what he actually said? No, I don't think we need them. Something beginning with the letter P? P, Mutana, mm, something, something like that. I think might, there I'm might be some more Argentinian. Argentinian. <laughs> a rusty, but... Uh, yeah, no, well, he was... Uh, he, was cop- he must have been copping some sticks, so he gave, uh, he gave it... Uh, he gave He's it almost as entertaining as the Argentinian oh, team to watch. There must be a guy, like, permanently have a camera on him the entire <laughs> time. So. And it's like he's missing the entire game with his switch. back to the game just, <laughs> just filming yeah. every single thing that comes from Maradona. Indeed. I've said indeed. I was not going to say indeed today. Oh, yeah? There you go. All indeed. Right. Anyway. I'll put that on the bar there was another. There was another game. I've stopped slapping the table. There yeah. was another game last night. Indeed. There was another game last night. Indeed. Iceland. <laughs> I'm going to take that shirt back. <laughs> You're going to take it back anyway. I'm enjoying this. This is nice. A little tight. It's a bit tight. Not that I can tell. Yeah. Uh, there was another game last night. Iceland, Croatia. Iceland, it's been fun having you, but again, Croatia, just too good. I, I did get the highlights of this game, and Iceland mm. were giving this a, that, yeah, that, yeah, look, that again, a real crack. That, it was great well, to watch. Again, they had to win and, and rely on the other result. In a bit the, like uh, Australia. Yeah, well, the, other, the Nigeria-Argentina mm. game, and, and they, they, they drew level, um, and they were, they were given a red-hot go, but Croatia just, they just, you know, they, these teams with, the cl- with class are now rising you know, to the top, and, uh, and again, yeah, Cro- look, again, Croatia are now going to meet Argentina. And on paper, you would mm. think the Croatia oh, would get over them. But now, all of a sudden, you think, well, you know... It's when I get over the Australia game and Australia being out, I'm so looking forward to that match. That's going to be a terrific match. It is. Again, and I, yeah, I'll, I'll just lean towards Argentina in that one. I think that, they again, they're just good. They have this formula and mentality to win. And they the, do. And the team ranked 36th in the world does not have that formula and mentality You know what, though? This, this Croatian team has turned up mm. to win. Yeah, they have, they yeah. have been in fine form yeah. all through. I don't think this one's as clear cut. Uh, look, uh, I hope it's like a three all draw. Or four I am three now result. officially. I'm now officially calling myself. I'm hopping on the Croatian bandwagon. Oh, they're going to get knocked out now. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Everyone else has. 
I'm going to hop on the Croatian bandwagon. Uh, love your work, guys. Uh, if Australia's not in it, I'm back in Croatia. It, I might be a fool to do so, but I really would love to see you beat Argentina. Go Croatia. I'm remaining neutral for the remainder of this tournament. I'll be Switzerland. I no, I won't be Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> That could be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Luxembourg. No hand neutral. signals. Right? Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so they were the games that were last night. We'll be back in a moment to talk about the crucial games coming up tonight. Now to take a look at the games on tonight, and we've spent about the better part of 45 minutes analysing the tables and all the permutations <laughs> and all the combinations, and we still don't know what's going to happen. Just leave it to an accountant. Oh, well, we've got to come up with every possible combination. I'm sure we do. There's a <laughs> lot of ifs, a lot of buts. Watching <laughs> <laughs> Hello to those lovely people. Okay, uh, so, all right, let's start with uh, the first game of the evening, which I believe is Germany-Korea. Yep, okay, we're going to Group F. Um, group Germany. F. <laughs> <laughs> you want to We rehearsed this, Group yeah. E comes before F. We're going to go to F. <laughs> so <laughs> Let's go to Z. Yeah. <laughs> I, this is, there's a certain yin and yang about this. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? Certain yin and yang. Who got hit? <laughs> All right, Germany. Now, this group F is very, very intriguing. So this is the group that um, there's a potential that um, you could have three teams that end up on six points and one team that ends up on no points. And depending on the results, if uh, Sweden um, win 1-0 and if South Korea manage to beat Germany 1-0, highly unlikely, but if they do, you're going to have three teams on six. All three are going to have a a three, two, four and against, and it's going to go to um, FIFA's yellow fair cards. play card, yeah. uh, calculation, which is a combination of yellow and red cards. Yeah, you get three points for a red, one point for a yellow, and the person, the team with the most points wins. Not quite. The team with the fewer points win, but also red... I don't think it's three for a red yeah. either. But anyway. Well, no, there's, there's actually... Yellows are all the same. There's a set number of points, whatever it is, one or... But reds, there's actually three different types because if you get a straight red, it's more than if you get two yellows and if it's violent conduct. So so it's, yeah, so it, look, I think G- it Germany... Won't happen. It, it won't, won't happen. happen. Germany, Germany will beat should, Korea. Germany should beat Korea. But what is likely to happen if Sweden beats Mexico, both of those two will be on six points and a 3-2 goal Come difference. And it will, go, cards, it will go to the yellow card. And there is the possibility that Sweden, sorry, not Italy, can beat Mexico. Unlikely, based on on form. Mexico's really had a good tournament so far. I wouldn't rule it out. But it's possible. Yeah, look, again, anything's possible in these precious scenarios. So I think one thing, Germany's, (laughs) with that last gasp gasp equaliser, they're on the verge of being eliminated. It's funny how teams lift when they win like that. They'll top the group now. Yep, on it goes, and and we're on our way. So um, Germany to beat Korea. We're not sure about uh, Sweden versus Mexico. I'll back them. 1-0, 1-0, Sweden. Sweden? Yep. And I, I, I guess I better... Well, given that I'm doing Coach's Corner on the Mexican coach, I'm going to go Mexico. Okay, wonderful. <coughs> All right, now, Group, right, group e. e. Yes, what's happening in Group E? Group E, Brazil, we have Brazil Serbia. playing Serbia. Now, this is interesting. Normally, you would say Brazil to beat Serbia. Mm. Brazil needs to win this. They can't they afford to go They need soft. to win it to, to make it through. Yeah. Mathematically, um, Brazil could actually be overtaken by both Switzerland. And mm. if Serbia beat them and Switzerland win, they'll, they'll be yep. stranded in, um, in third spot. That's so. right. So what is likely to happen is Brazil's going to come out firing, which, mm. of course, never brings out their best play. They play better when they're relaxed. But Serbia are going to come out firing. They need Serbia's to Serbia's going to be going hammer Unless, and unless they, they employ the soccer real approach of, nah, yeah, let's see what happens. It, stop it. So nah, we see. think Brazil's going to win that game, but it will be a hard-fought game. And, of course, the last one, Switzerland v Costa Rica. Yeah. Costa Rica's out. They can't do anything. Depends I whether the Swiss, they. I think the Swiss have got enough. To yeah, do I don't think time. Costa Rica is going to turn up to yeah. sort of to win. They might give it forty-five minutes, yeah. but after that, it's it's all over. Red Rover. The, the Swiss could lose and still go through, but then it may go to goal differences, yeah. and they'd have to rely on Brazil beating Serbia. So they they might keep one eye on the. Well, they've kept the their two players. Line. They did have that hearing, and yeah, you oh, were right. They? FIFA did not have the stomach oh, for it. They have really? their two stars. How, so how my money's on unusual. Switzerland for that game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could have predicted that, like. There you go. You're feeling better and better like already. Morning, there we go. Night. So it will be interesting to see some really good games to mm. watch tonight. Brazil, particularly, they need to win. Mexico, let's Mexico see how Sweden. they go. Mexico wins. That'll be a good game as well. Can't wait. And now, mm. you know, for for us, we can just sit back, <laughs> relax, and just enjoy the rest of the tournament. As I don't neutral. think any night will be as painful as last night was. And look, no, I, I'm now wearing my Croatian flag. So I'm going to go to a psychologist. I need some memory, <laughs> yeah. re- memory <laughs> repressive sort of therapy so that I just, it just wipes out. I think out. we both need it there's, after this. There's a little bit of memory that just gets cut out about four hours of last night. I'm giving you. I don't want to be able to look back to. You done? Yeah, it's all right. I am now. It's all right. Tom. It's all right.
If any manager deserves to win this World Cup, it's arguably Juan Carlos Osorio, perhaps the most unpopular coach in Mexican, if not World Cup history. A Colombian by birth, he played professionally from 82 to 87 before he had to retire due to injuries. His love of the game, however, saw him rebuild his career as a coach. After stints in the English Premier League as an assistant at Man City, he moved to the US where his coaching expertise was honed. He enjoyed success at the helm of both Chicago Fire and the New York Bulls. Since taking the reins of the Mexican team in 2015, he has been the most derided coach in the country's history, while at the same time achieving their highest winning percentage since the 1930 team. A student of the game, he places a great deal of emphasis on scientific fitness management as well as positional play. This has resulted in many changes to team lineups over many matches, something the Mexican football loving public doesn't understand. In fact, leading up to the World Cup, he had not fielded the same team twice ever. Detractors see this as uncertainty and indecision. Fuera Osorjo, out with Osorjo, had become a common chant from fans at El Tree Games. Even the press continued to taunt him with insults, even when El Tree, the Mexican team, win. Perhaps wiser than the public, the Mexican Federation never wavered in its faith in Osorio. Even after a 7-0 loss to Chile at the 2016 Copa American Centenario, nor have his players. And here's the interesting thing that all the booing covers up. There is every reason to think Mexico is in better shape for Russia 2018 than El Tree was four years ago at Brazil, or even eight years ago at South Africa. Osorio has the players on his side has worked with the group since November 2015, has, def- has a defined style and boasts a bunch of key players in the prime of their careers. Osorjo's approach means that the team as a whole is highly adaptable. This quality should not be underestimated as injuries and opposition often means a team has to reshuffle lineups. In this team, the coach has many players used to playing in multiple positions. It also lets them shift from a four at the back formation to a three at the back with ease and effectiveness. He has a strong defence that plays high up the pitch, putting pressure on some European teams that they're not used to. He also has youth on his side. This may make all the difference up front with the team showing signs of creativity and instinct in warm-up matches. Watch for a no-fear approach from this team. After all, what has Osorjo got to lose? What he has done though, under ridiculous pressure, is change Mexico's style of football for the better. As football changes globally, adaptability is becoming more important than anything for national teams. A true coach's coach will have prepared for anything, and no one can say this man has not done that. Mexico has a strong heritage of making it through the group stages of World Cups. If Osorjo can get El Tri through theirs this year, I would not be surprised if we saw them in the quarters or the semis. Time will tell how Mexico's football-adoring public judges this coach. One thing's for certain, they don't know what they have. Osorjo may prove to be a short-term, but more importantly, a long-term hero for Mexican football. Yeah, another terrific coach's corner. Um, Mexico, one of the few teams that have won both of their opening uh, matches. So, you know, you can't be doing a lot wrong if you're on six points going Look, There was the a big match. question mark over them before mm. the tournament, but uh, I think this coach has got it right. Mm. No, he's done well. Like he's him. done well. Yep. He's galvanised Mexico. That's a, that's a, that's a hard, jo- enough, hard enough job as it is. Without the dancing on the sideline. <laughs> Okay, now, Tony, you've had a little bit of time to calm down. I want to talk about the Socceroos, just so that we can... No, Start twitching again. It's important that we, we put some closure on it. Yes. Um, there were some good signs. Let's talk positive. Yeah, let's talk positive. Yes. I think we've got four years to go. We've got Graham Arnold coming in as coach. Is that it? Then, then it's all over for us? Which... <laughs> and look... Looking forward to the next Results years. aside, yeah. there were some players in the Australian team that are now being looked at, courted yep. by some big, big league teams around the world. Yep. I think if they can get those spots, if we can have some of our players do four years in the top flights and Graham Arnold gets, uh, gets his finger out, I think we can build on this yep. and come through into the round of 16 with a different mentality. 
They need to be. Now. They need to be brutal and 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 you know get rid of the old guard and yep. start looking I, to the future. I think that'll happen. Yeah, and I think um, some of these players, you know, if you look at that 2006 golden generation where there were so many Schwartz, Viduka, all those guys, Lucas Nell, they were all Bresciano, um, Vinny Grella, all playing Serie. There's no no one playing all in Serie in top flight. They, they played two in Serie A. The rest yeah. of in the EPL. Now we're playing in the second division of you know the, of the Bundesliga. We had We've two players, players going players. into this World Cup. Yeah. Two players that were playing in top flight yeah, EPL. Yeah. Um, and I think we well, can... Well, three. you got Matt Ryan. Yeah. Um, Yednak. Moy. And Moy. Yednak, Yednak played in the championship. Crystal Palace. Oh, he's at Crystal no, Palace. He's, he's at Aston Villa. Aston Villa now. Yeah. I thought it was at um, Crystal Palace. Yeah. So it, it won't be the same team in four years. Yeah. There will be the nucleus of this one. Hopefully they've had four years in top flights. Yeah. Uh, you know, you'd have to say Arzani's going to get picked up pretty yeah. quickly after yeah. this World Cup. You'd have to say Risden's going to get Risden a go had a as good well. Tournament. Sainsbury hopefully what as will, well. What will be really critical is the coaching they yeah. get where they yeah. go. If they can be brought out, if mm. they can really be taught rather than used. Um, we have... Some really good signs in this team. The Australian fight, we all know about it. What we do need is a striker to come out of nowhere yeah, that can actually hit the side of the barn. But um, apart from that, we've got a nucleus. I think there is lots to look forward to out of this World Cup. The next one's the Asian Cup, so that starts almost immediately. So that's Indeed. it's already been four years. You know, January fifteen, so January nineteen, that whole tournament starts. So that's right. it's going to be a really interesting one to see. You know what what the Socceroos are going to bring for the next four years. We're we going to do this. Look forward to it. The Asian Cup. Yeah, right. Okay, that brings us to the end of today's show. Uh, please keep keep them coming on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. We're copying and pasting on Facebook. We love <laughs> we we love your comments, uh, even the bad ones. Um, and, and and please like the page as well. Share the page, like the page. Anybody that wants to come in and review a game, we're now going into the exciting stages. Please let us know on Facebook. We want reviewers. Adrian the Pom aside, we like you all. We want reviewers that turn up. <laughs> we want that too. And uh, we will thank our sponsors and yes, get out. Murray's Brewery. Yes, Murray's <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Murray's, you've really I'll helped today. You have. Really you helped. Have. And everything football. I should have. Well, I it was should good have to take the focus off the Socceroos. Uh, uh, maybe this is symbolic as to what's going to happen to some of the players in the Socceroos. That's it. One might end up at Arsenal. Won't learn how to shoot there. And one might end up at Newcastle. Hey. We'll hope that they do play top flight football. Thank you, sponsors. Thank you, ball boys. Thank you, Gabe. See you tomorrow, everyone. See you next time. Christ, what are the games tonight? <laughs> Shit. I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention beyond the no, soccer. Like Mexico, Mexico Germany? Just... No, Mexico, no, not Italy. No, I don't know. Yeah, no, not Italy is playing. Not Italy. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, my wife has you... trolled me on <laughs> since the game, since the Australian games. <laughs> Italians. Oh, you deserve it. What? I thought that program went well, considering how we're both feeling. Yeah, I could you have. You did well to come good. I, I could have um, turned my anger down a little bit. Look, it actually says DD at a shop on the side here. <laughs> I might get on a plane and go and deliver it to him. Uh, how are you going to do that? Oh, <laughs> easily. <laughs> <laughs>